Right now we're standing on top of a pile of rocks that has not been out of water for 90 years until probably yesterday. Some circular object is due to come out of the water like today. I don't know what that is, but the water's hitting it pretty weird. All right, so I can tell it's lower already. In my last video, I believe I was standing in this exact spot. There's that object we saw in a being an old tractor tire. That's a pretty rapid decline, to be honest. Over there is where that old boat is that we visited in the last video. That's where we're parked. So I think I'm gonna go walk off this way today. Oh, I already see a boat. No way. Let's zoom in on that. Where's it at? Wow. All right, that was quick. So we're just going the opposite way from the direction we went last time. Ground is a little soft and sketchy, but there's other footprints here, so I'm not too worried. When you're out here and every step you take, you sink a few inches into the ground and there's nobody else around, it's a different feeling, to say the least. Yeah, this is a little more hard packed, but some of that darker stuff I just went through was extremely soft. If I didn't see like other coyote footprints everywhere, I probably would have uh, found a different path. Now we're back up to solid ground. So there's our boat right there, but over here looks like a little engine maybe. So we're gonna check that out first. Looks like there's another engine up there. That is an engine. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. Been underwater for a long time. An old V8 something. It's about all you can gather from this thing. This one's pretty cool. It's like up on top of an island up there. So I've been out of water for a little while now. This one looks like an old inline six. Which has also been underwater for a very long time. kind of cool you can see the uh, position that the pistons were last in when it was thrown in here and there's actually holes rotted into them which is neat it's the uh, oil dipstick hole there's a sign that said rock back when this island here was out of water well back when it was right underwater I should say but it's pretty elevated compared to the rest of the land there's another boat down there we're gonna go check out. We're almost to this thing. This is actually a pretty big boat. There's an old registration tag on it. It looks like it's been worn off for quite some time. This is uh, looks much smaller from further away. There's the uh, footprint gas pedal from the 70s. And this is a jet boat, you can tell, because it doesn't have a propeller. This little snout here just it has like a little fan kind of system in there that just blows water out. So I bet there's an engine in this thing still. Up oh, 2013, look at that. So it sunk about nine years ago, is my guess. So on a jet boat, this is the water intake right here. And then there's a prop inside there, like a like an external propeller would be on a normal boat. And then it shoots water out of the back. And then when this little flap here closes, it diverts the water this direction, which puts the boat into reverse. And these are the exhaust outlets. The thing would probably still float just fine. They normally capsize during uh, like rough and windy conditions, especially if you don't see any you know, visible damage on the boat. We should look under this thing. So it's just the uh, windshield part. Neat. Now I'm just going to walk back down to the water line here and see if there's anything new emerging today. That's weird, somebody used an old Home Depot bucket as a concrete anchor. It's a little wire. Nothing really down here that I can see emerging yet, but we'll keep walking. This is pretty cool coming down here every week and looking for new surprises. I mean, it's obviously... I'd rather have our water supply not depleting by the second, but on the bright side, I guess you can come down here and look for new fun surprises every week. A little barrel for something, sunglasses, something right there. Looks like a outboard engine cover. Gotta stand on rocks or you're gonna sink out here. 
Yeah, that's an old engine cover. All right, I'm well back up on a dry land and I see a barrel down there. Our car is way over there somewhere. There's the roof. All right, let's go. Let's go look at our mystery barrel. So this barrel was just underwater. We may be the first to put eyes on this. Ignore the footprints from 80 other people. Huh, the barrel is kind of open on the corner down there. For reference, I am about, I don't know, a few hundred feet away from where they found a body inside of a barrel about a month ago or so. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, not going in this thing. All right, let's keep it trucking. I don't see anything else in this bay. Cool anchor. I just found another boat. I'm walking back to my truck and I see another pretty cool boat up here. Dude, this is cool. So we're in a spot where I don't even see any footprints at. You gotta really try to get to this area and this boat seems to be pretty well hidden from all of the roads or walking paths. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. No way is this just sitting here. Wow. That's an old jet boat. Battery's still in it. This is unbelievable. This thing is just part of the earth. Yeah, no uh, human footprints around this thing. A couple animal footprints. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but this is beyond interesting to me. Well, look at the dirt falling off the chrome valve cover. Yeah, this is as cool as it gets. Wow. Huh, the carburetor's gone. <laughs> That's just super weird. Yeah, it's got the riser plate or the spacer um, intake spacer on it, but the actual carburetor is gone. That is rad right there. This is kind of cool. The water way up there at one point, and now it is way down there. The earliest memories I have in this world are of standing in a playpen at Lake Mead. My mother raced stand-up jet skis professionally back in the late 80s, and the lake was full. I remember this lake being full. What is this? It's a very strange thing. Something used for the construct of this place. There's another weird old barrel of some type. That thing's been out of water for a while. It's like old construction equipment, to be honest. Some more framing or bracing or whatever. I imagine this stuff was used for something before the valley was filled with water. That's my only guess. All right, we are done for today. If you guys want next week's video to pop up on your feed, just hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.